Hello, friends, and welcome back. It is time for the Morning Mindset. Hope you're ready right now to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. Let's just take a deep breath, kind of shake it out, and get yourself ready to listen, really listen and pay attention to the Word of God coming from the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 today. I want to say a special thank you and hello to Ryan and Dylan and Russell and Jacqueline. These are people who've come alongside as financial partners of the Morning Mindset and the God-Fearing Kids podcast. I'm so grateful that you have taken the time to come alongside in a way that will help us fuel the work that we're doing. We have some new ideas in mind. We're praying through those. We may be putting out even more podcasts in the future. We'll let you know as things progress, but thank you. Thank you for being a partner. If you're interested in being a partner, you can look in the description for this episode and find a link there that will take you to a page that tells you more about what that's like. All right, let's look today at Proverbs 29. We're going to see verses 3 and 8. Proverbs 29, 3 and 8. These verses are all about wisdom. And why wisdom? Verse 3 explains, He who loves wisdom makes his father glad, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. Okay, so get the image in your mind here. There's a son who is portrayed as having two different options in front of him. One is to seek wisdom, which would make his father glad. The other is to seek out and spend time with prostitutes. And he's saying the first one would make his father glad. The second one would squander his father's wealth. And what this passage is doing is it's contrasting a desire for wisdom with a desire for other things. In this case, sexual fulfillment and sexual pleasures. Okay. Now, A prostitute, that whole deal is not going to truly be fulfilling. It's going to be a pit that leads that person into a trap. But wisdom, wisdom not only makes his father glad, wisdom is going to serve that young man throughout his entire life. It's amplifying the value of wisdom. Look at verse number eight. It says, scoffers set a city aflame, but the wise turn away wrath. Okay, so Here's a contrasting situation as well. We have a city that's on fire. And how did that city get on fire? Well, we realize it's a hypothetical fire that was started by scoffers, people who are just mocking, making fun of things, uh, bringing heat into the situation rather than light through their tongues. See, and that kind of thing can incite all kinds of craziness in a situation. And it's saying, but the wise person in that same situation is going to turn away wrath. They're not going to incite and inflame things. They're going to be a moderating presence. Someone who brings peace to the circumstance through the wisdom they have to interject and through their lack of reaction and rather temperate responses in the circumstance. So friends, don't we have the opportunity every day to be either this scoffer or this wise person? And I'm referring to social media. We all have an opportunity to enter into the conversation about world events and uh, high profile uh, happenings in the world and add either flame, heat, scoffing to that situation or wisdom that would actually benefit the people involved and the people who are discussing this situation. Friends, this is so pertinent for us. And I think in both of these verses, what Solomon is telling us is wiser is better. We need to be thinking in terms of cultivating wisdom in our lives, seeking out wisdom in our lives. As verse 3 says, to love wisdom. Because wisdom is going to not only serve us, it's going to be of benefit to those people around us. So think about who that is in your life. Is that your spouse, your kids, your co-workers, the people on your athletic team, uh, the people around you in your neighborhood, you have an opportunity to be a source of wisdom that brings blessing into their lives. And add to all of this the power of the Holy Spirit who comes to live within you through your faith in Jesus Christ. And you have this dynamic opportunity, friends, to be a source of great benefit today. Lord God, we ask you to give us a love for wisdom. 
Help us to elevate it higher than any other desire, especially those of selfish pleasures. Lord, enable us to think beyond ourselves, to the people around us, to be active in inserting wisdom into situations rather than a lot of heat and angst. Enable us to always think before we post on social media, before we enter into a conversation, before we interact with others, what is the wise thing to do, to say, to interject into this situation. We trust you to make us your wise people today.